Okay, blood stains. Oh god. Okay. Oh no, back in the sewer. No, fuck you. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Crescendo and welcome back to Outlast. Now, it did not save my progress up to this point last time. It started me back in the bowels of that hell and I had to do this all over again. And yes, it was not my fault that I crouched when I was trying to run up to get to this point. He actually does that automatically. I don't know why. Maybe it's just to make you freak out. Uh, but it, it made me freak out again. Anyways, we did that, so now we can get on the way that we're supposed to. So, did I talk to you before? Yeah, I don't think you had anything to say. Whatever. Okay, let's let's move on through. And that was just like an extra, like like a last uh, F you to me. Because I was like, I'm so done with, with, uh, with the sewers and shit. So before I could actually get out of it, I had to relive that one more time. That was not cool. That was not fun. That was cool. Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 God, why? What the hell, he's got a fucking, no, come on, no, don't do that shit to me. Oh, he's gonna, oh, is he? Is he gonna, what? That was terrifying. This fucking dude betrayed me, you dickhead. God, oh, I man, I felt so screwed for that second. Jesus, but now I gotta worry about him hiding behind every freaking doorway. Let me get the camera back up, actually. Okay. Great, it's gonna be like a labyrinth back there. Oh, man, he's gonna, like, pop out from behind something. Oh, okay, well, I guess he can't pop out from behind there. So that part's safe. There's another part that he could've disappeared behind. Great. Ah, uh -huh. I don't like these. Oh, there's, like, a secret way over there. Oh, I guess that's just where you're supposed to go. Yep, continuing on to the male ward. Great. But, like, isn't that really... Once I fell the first time, isn't that where I came from? The fuck? Oh, okay, you're a crybaby. All right, you just stay there. That's the guy. He's got the, the weapon. Am I supposed to sneak past him? I'm gonna try. Can you give me any advice? Anything at all? No? You suck. Wait, what's this? Can you zoom in on that? Oh, that's like in French. Yeah, chat with about I don't speak that. I don't speak that language. Alright, well, I'm just gonna try and sneak on past this guy. You just keep doing your thing, man. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna get in the way of you rattling the door. So enjoy. Enjoy. Have fun. Just don't stop and don't come this way. That's- that's all I ask. Okay, blood stains. Oh god, okay. Oh no, back in the sewer! No, fuck you! Don't do this to me again! Are you telling me I'm not actually done with the sewer? This... This is bull hockey. This is pure baloney. Oh, I'm not happy about this. Also, I didn't look at all for batteries when I was up there. Not even a little bit. I was a little preoccupied. Hopefully I didn't miss any. But at the same time, I really need batteries. I have one battery in reserve. <laughs> You're crying again. Kinda sounds like the same guy that was up there, the French guy. This almost looks familiar, though. Looks like a place I was already at. Oh! Oh, God. Piss off, man. Still look like the same crying French guy. Had a... What do you call it? Straight jacket on. Oh boy, it's getting dark now. Oh god, alright. We gotta start using night vision again, which is gonna drain our battery. Oh gosh, why? What is that? It's a big ass noise coming from over here. Oh, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Oh, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm so terrified. Okay, there's a crack to slide through. Batteries, batteries, no batteries. Fuck me. I'd rather not, really. I'd really rather not. Can I- is there another- is there- oh, jeez. Just a pool of bloody- okay. It's not exactly what I thought it was, but let's, uh, let's go through. Something's gonna happen. I ain't no fool. I know when things are gonna happen. And here- THEY'RE GONNA HAPPEN! Oh, what? Oh, steam pipe- no, no, don't get back in there, stupid. Well, I knew something was going to happen. Not, not exactly what I expected, but I was right. <laughs> C 
Christ. This game sucks. This game really sucks. Hate it. Hate this game. Is that, what the hell is that? There's a door down here? Where does that go? Oh, wow, wow. Lots of bodies. Lots of bodies. That's, that's really gross. I don't imagine I can open this door and I'm not gonna try. Let's check out the notes. Yeah, the notes. A feast for flies. I thought this sewer couldn't smell any worse. Hundreds of bodies crammed into a room. Thousands, thousands of flies. Is this the priest's way out? No, I don't know, man. That's gnarly. That's gnarly stuff. And no battery. Hooray. Thanks a lot. If you're gonna show me something awful, at least give me a battery for the damage you've done to my, to my, to my brain, to my psyche. Okay, now we're going back up. Oh, God. Are we gonna be on the other side? Stop it with the objective. Reach the ground floor of the mail ward. Alright. Okay, now maybe we're out of the sewer for forever? And never have to look back? Maybe? But I'm, I'm no longer... Is there a light in there? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh! Is this guy hanging? Or is there like a chair that didn't actually load in? Yeah, okay. Never mind. <laughs> All right, I don't want to go in there. There's there's ample signs that that's not a place that I should go. That's pretty obvious. Uh, so I can't get through here whatsoever. Is there like a battery maybe slightly in my reach? I don't know. Let's look around a little bit. More bloody footprints and papers. Another uh, staircase and nothing I can tell. Okay, well, shit. Our options are <laughs> limited to one. And I still see no batteries, so well, whatever. We're just gonna go through here. Maybe we won't, we just, come on, man. Maybe we just won't need batteries for a second. Maybe that'll, oh God, slow and creepy. But yeah, maybe we'll just get lucky and won't need batteries for a bit. Um, hey buddy, you cool? I mean, you, you seem kinda cool, kinda chill. Oh, well, you can't see me, maybe not even hear me. Even if I tried. Alright. Well, that's nice to know. Let's just move forward at a slow and safe pace. At least with all this light, I'm not burning any batteries. Okay. Seems relatively... Nope. You stay on, motherfucker. That was scary. Is that gonna happen again? Okay. I thought maybe that was some event that was taking place, but no. Okay, so a guy just came through here and walked by. For some reason, you're sitting in a pool of blood, but you don't look like... Doesn't look like it's your blood. How many batteries hidden in those, uh... Well, that straight jacket? In the sleeves, maybe? No? Wait a second. Wooden floors. Okay, things are getting less stone. Slowly pull that open. So much for not having to use my night vision. Okay. I, I probably should have shut that door behind me. Actually, I'm going to. I'm absolutely going to. Well... I don't know, because that little hole might be a nice place to, uh, escape to if I absolutely need it. Any batteries back here, man? I need some fucking batteries. There's another door there. I need some batteries so bad. Maybe in here, there'll be batteries. Maybe just another horror. Another chair. More blood. Oh, God, my hand always scares me. Oh. Fingers first, then balls, then tongue. Is that what happened to the other guy in, the, in that room over there? Poor bastard. No batteries in here either. Come on. All right, let's look at our notes real quick. Organized torture. The harder I try to escape, the further I get into this god-awful place. Like fighting a tar pit. They've been torturing people in the basement and by method. Written on the wall, fingers first, then balls, then tongue. Somebody's managing the torture and instructing them. Yep. Some. This is an organized, organized uh, group of people. You poor bastard. You got no balls. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather not have a tongue. Not really. I need a tongue to eat and talk. I don't really need my balls. I'm not trying to make babies. Oh god. Oh, what? What is that? It's like super heavy footsteps. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and change the battery. Our last battery. Oh god. I don't know which is the way I should go. We have two options. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, okay, this is locked. Any battery? No? Come on. Where are the batteries all of a sudden? There's none. Nowhere. Nothing and nowhere. Let's just keep creeping up here. Search for the glint of batteries, I'm sure, at some point. What? Oh, jeez, what? 
Who and where? It's over here? Is that in this room? Someone's banging on so- oh jeez. Oh, oh someone's been locked out. Or blocked out. As long as that doesn't come swinging open. Hey buddy, are we friends? Well, whatever. I'm really terrified that that door's gonna swing open. <gasps> Sweet precious battery? Hell yeah! Give me that. I need more though. I need- I need more than that. And a camera. That's a- that's a very nice new age camera. It's a little weird. Doesn't really fit the aesthetic of this place. Any more batteries maybe? Maybe just a couple of gimmies? A couple freebies? Is that a- Oh. The shine made me think there was a rat on top of this. Um, I'm not doing that. There's a fucking dude on the other side banging on the damn thing. You out of your mind. That camera is- is throwing me off though. Alright, so... But there's no option to go through here. So we have but one option, and that is this way. Great. Great stuff. That's fun. That's fun for me. Alright, hold and push forward to move. Okay, same concept as before. Except this time there's a raving lunatic on the other side of the door. Mm. Alright, here we go. Oh god, he opened that shit way too fast. That's not how you're supposed to do that. I don't like the sounds. I don't like the music. God, it's so creepy. It's so fucking creepy. This is beyond creepy. I'm terrified. I've got nowhere to run. I, I... Okay, there's a place to run. Maybe. But I don't feel like I have a safe place to run to. That might not actually be safe at all. That might be the opposite. <clears throat> the opposite of safe. No batteries. Alright, so let's check this area out. Bunch of doors. Too many options, man. It's a long hallway. Can I open this? Oh, I can't. Okay. Well, that closes off that particular option. Oh, and this one. Alright, so we got one destination. So many doors. So many really old wooden doors. Why? Why put them in my view? If you're not going to let me go through them. Alright, well, let's let's dive into the madness again. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, it's showers? Are we back in the showers area? Maybe a different one? Oh, he's breathing heavy. That's gotta mean something really terrible. Well, I know where my ass is crawling right back to if things go down. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Scary stuff. Oh, I hear- oh, uh, behind- behind the curtain. Oh, battery. Oh, god, I'm gonna have to fight for this. What's gonna happen when I grab this battery? Back away slowly. No? Okay, I thought I was gonna get attacked. There's like- there's people. This is the medical ward, that's what it is. Or maybe- Something like that. Um, but there's people behind these curtains. Obviously, I'm gonna assume needing medical help. Like this guy. Oh, man. Maybe this is just another... It was medical ward, but now it's just another torture chamber. Oh, this is all so awful. Oh, God, I'm hearing them all, all of a sudden. Jesus, this is terrible. And it's all the priest, I guess, who's... Who's doing all this stuff, or... Somebody in a chair over there. Jeez, this is rough. Oh, got a file. Fuck. Shine on the- Oh my god, dude! What the hell? They stripped you down, man. What are they- what, why? What for? Are they eating them? That's just completely unnecessary. God, let's read this document real quick. Not you. Documents. Project Wallrider cost report. There's a cost to this. Uh, patri patient status report by Rick Traeger. This patient also, unfortunately, didn't make it. I tried my best, but I'm just a doctor, not a miracle worker. I'm a pretty, I'm pretty, and I'm pretty new to this whole doctor thing, so I'm still working out all the kinks. How are you just new to, to the doctor thing? There's, like, years and years of, like, medical college and stuff like that. You don't get, you're not just new to it. Anywho, somebody's got to cut the fat from this Project Wallrider disaster. We've been bleeding money ever since this thing went tits up on account of that Billy kid, but I've managed to slim back personnel more than by more than 80 people, which means short-term savings in salary and long-term savings in pension and healthcare costs. I've been and I've been figuring out a lot about biology. I was on the fence about it before, but now I can say with absolute certainty that a person can't live without his kidneys. You learn something new every day. Right. You're an awful person. So he he he's not a doctor. He's not licensed. He has not practiced. Um, being a doctor, any medical shit, he just, uh, 
decided to, to do doctor things in a terrible way. That's called malpractice, and it's illegal. Of course, when you look at that body, you know something illegal just happened. Alright. God, this is gonna, this is gonna start, this is gonna kick something off, I can tell. Oh wait, I can't go through here. Uh, wait a minute, let me try anyway. No? Then what and where? Oh, okay, I gotta crawl up here. Oh, I see. Yeah, that was subtly hinted at with the blinking light and the swinging thing. That was kind of obvious. I was too busy looking at all the human anatomy on the ground, okay? Get off my back. Can we get up here? Okay, here we go. But before I do, I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, I got scared quite a few times. Actually, basically right at the beginning, um, I got terrified by that knife-wielding lunatic running right at my face. So, um, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing if you want to see more of my content, more of me playing this game in particular. Also, consider sharing my stuff around if you uh, think there's anybody who would like my stuff. That would be really great and help me out tons. That being said, thank you guys so much for enduring this horror with me today and seeing all this gross human anatomy all over the place. It's real nice. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.